one. So I just had a great nap. Watching The Godfather. This thing, Michael, I need you to do. And I have things to do, clearly. So I highly recommend when you have a lot of stuff to do. Nothing wrong with taking a nap for a few hours. I had some really good chicken ganache soup and some of my biscuits that I had homemade. And then I was tired, so I took a nap. So I'm up, waking up, and watch The Godfather. I have some cooking to do in classes. So I'm gonna teach you guys really quickly about making healthy choices. Especially uh, when you travel, especially when you have school, you have a lot of things going on. And also how to encourage your family to have a healthier lifestyle. Let's get into it. I watched The Godfather. It's going to come whack you. Alrighty, so. I got these wire baskets <clears throat> at Amazon. But I worked an event. And... They had to like totally get rid of the whole set. So I'm like, wow, okay. Had I had a big truck, I would have loaded up like everyone else that I mean, we're talking about tables, tents, the whole night. And so a lot of times I work for different companies and when the set is over, right? They gotta get rid of the stuff. But I only take what I need. Some things I'm like, ah, that. So these baskets, super cute. I have two of them in fact. One of them I use for on my counter snacks stuff. So I already have that cranberry. This is the last of that cranberry almond bread and pastry. I have some of my trail mix. This is stuff that I keep in a basket. So under those crackers, grab and go. A lot of times I'll run out the house without eating anything. That's not good. And so I don't like to waste food. So when I open something, look at here. For your family, you do little variety packs. Believe it or not, the way things are packaged are the way things are the ways that people respond to stuff. So, for example, something that I used to help with staging for when people move into property or if they were a guest, to do fun stuff like this stuff that they don't expect. And of course, when I stay Hilton and Marriott, I get a little snack pack. You get to pick out what you want. So here, got some popcorn, almond butter, fruit snacks, applesauce, little fruit cups. Now these obviously are better in the refrigerator, but I did this for the purposes of showing you how you can get relatively healthy snacks. Grab and go. These, and of course, my oldest loves the uh, Nutella. It's really good, actually. I like to... um. You can make crepes, you can do donuts, you can make pancakes, a lot of things you can do in Nutella. And of course these. So when my children have camp, I think of easy, fun, lightweight, portable stuff. And now obviously they're teenagers, so I have to get bigger sizes of things for them. But this is just, oh, I try to get the organic one, try to stay away from the gelatin. Now, beverages. I love different kind of sparkling waters. My children really like the ices. They're good too. I also, we like these a lot. These are 4C, sugar-free. So it's healthier. Let me read the back of the ingredients. Yeah, I mean, they have a few things. Some of them, you can get some more natural ones, but I haven't had any issues, you know with these there's also the ones that they have for kids especially i think they're like true lime or true lemon really good so this used to have juice in it right i like to recycle and so wash it out peel off that paper fill it up with some cold water measurements knowing your measurements now traveling i have some traveling to do this week and next week that's why i love portable things like this coffee, all kind of stuff. I got my chai tea in there so it's ready to go. I'm gonna have to get up on a tr really early and catch some trains. So knowing math, knowing your portions, sizes. So this is supposed to be for a 16.9 ounce bottle. How many did I put in here? Hmm. 
one. So I did four. Looking for the fourth one. So I did four of these, which will yield one of these. Now, if you want a little stronger, you could add another one to it. You can also mix up flavors. So, you know, they say don't drink the Kool-Aid. This is a better alternative to Kool-Aid because growing up, what was in our household? Kool-Aid, uh, Sunny D, a lot of sugary stuff. So these are small ways that you can make changes, healthy changes. Also, different types of crackers. So we have buttercrust, they have harvest wheat, rosemary, and olive oil, pita chips. My youngest loves hummus, so do I. You can make your hummus yourself, but also buying small cups of hummus, um, the small cups of different dips, yogurt dips, um, ranch, you can do your own. You know, cut up the fruit and vegetables yourself, and voila. Now, let's see. Popcorn, non GMO, not bad. So I think of small. Oh, let me show you guys also. So charcuterie boards are very popular, very easy. Get different kind of meat, right? Go to the deli, get it fresh. I love this kind of mustard. This is whole grain old style mustard. So you have your, get the big sizes. Because if you have a lot of people, you want to make different boards for everyone, or you can make one whole board. But the key is have those little sides and stuff. Got some Sicilian olives left, but that's why I had brought this to do a board. And you can buy different kinds of cheeses. So I like a lot of imported cheese. Uh, yeah. Guess what also works out just as good. And you can mix that with your imported. So there's a few types of cheeses that you want to get top of the line, right? And then there are working catering shops. There are a couple of cheese that you can get that people like, like Colby Jack, really good. Um, let's see, I love Munster. Munster's okay more for sandwiches. Gouda, smoked Gouda, I like Brie, those really fancy artisanal cheeses that you see. Get a few of those, a few different types of regular cheese. And it's all about sides, right? And then, of course, different crackers. I like to get um, crostinis are really good. Stuff that's fresh, but also just keep in mind, there are small things you can do in your house to wild things up. Organic German mustard. Really good for pretzels. Actually, I want to uh, have some pretzels. I want to make some pretzels. Nothing like those really huge, huge pretzels. So good. And then also stuff like this. You could make like a cheese dip. And I have jalapeno. Oh yeah, I got jalapenos. Speaking of which. So easy way to make something fun. Get some nacho. Do you like a nacho knife? Tomato. And this reminds me what I'm gonna be making tonight. I read a list. I'm going to do some apple turnovers. I'm going to do some tuna cakes. So good thing I have that tomato. Have some jalapenos. I have an onion left. I have some scallops. Put they go back. Let me write that down. All right. So put my peppers, onions, tuna. I do not like soy. I can, soy is used in a lot of different products. Some things you can really taste it. Mm. And it's used to like thickening up things. So some things have soy in them. I try to do as minimal as possible. Got some Colby Jack cheese or whatever kind of cheese that you had. Some tomato. Um, some jalapeno. You don't even need to make it. Just eat the jalapeno. And you can roast these with some uh, different seasonings. Some honey, make it a little sweet, it's really good. I actually use these jalapenos in the biscuits. They came out wonderfully. And I'll also show you a trick. We like to make spritzers, right? So of course, 
working in all those places, I learned how different drinks are made. So to carry a lot of water, I do things like this. And then I put a label on it, what it is. So this is a can of sparkling lime water. This is also something if you wanted to make for adults, your adult beverages, different things that you can do. Mocktails. This much water gives us a good shake. And then, of course, having different flavors, believe it or not. Children love variety. So you are always got more than one child. You're going to get more than one answer to what everybody wants to eat or drink. That's fine. Let everyone be an individual. And then what I do, everyone has their own little snack thing of what the little things that they like nobody else is supposed to touch that way when you want something that you want for yourself go for it my oldest tells me that she loves Nutella she wants her own jar no problem and then it's portable too so I encourage my children to take their lunch to take their own snacks do you know how expensive vending machines are Mm -hmm. And I know because being in school, you wind up eat, trying to eat breakfast or lunch or a meal out of a vending machine, especially in a lot of these college universities. A lot of the choices are not that healthy or well, they want you to spend all this money in the food court. I know. So you can also do this with tea, a number of things. So this is wild berry pomegranate, and I mix this with the lemon. You can do that with a lot of different teas. Um, I used to work for, this represents Soda Stream and Bon O. That's how I learned about different beverages and all these things. And as you can see, it still has the carbonation. So thinking about this in reverse, pour this first. And then pour this. Let's test the science experiment, shall we? Cooking is kind of like experimenting. That's why a lot of food, I try to tell people, get food that is less processed and um, try not to get stuff that's created in a lab. So, and I also do um, focus research and scratch kitchen research, testing different recipes and stuff like that. It's like scratch kitchens and stuff like that. It's fun. You can see this one has more carbonation than the other. <clears throat> okay, so doing it this method. Gives it a bit more carbonation, a bit more bubbly effect. Not bad. So I'm actually going to be doing a lot of research for marketing companies and consumer companies this month, this week. Why? Launch time. A lot of products, you want to have them ready to launch by different times. So you know, wow, spring. Stop staying. You gotta be careful. It's good to know. Must be the coloring. When I see things like this, I see opportunities for improvement and what I could do to not have these red marks, which I'm now gonna have to clean off my counter. But back to what I was saying about product launches. Before something is launched and it goes to market, you wanna make sure that it's ready to go that you have looked at the issues, that you've gotten good feedback from your consumers about what works, what doesn't work. Sometimes with focus groups, which is dried off, people feel compelled to either be honest as they should, excuse me, 
or they don't really take it seriously. Most of these opportunities, they're paid. Opportunities, I mean, why else would you be there, right? So it behoove you to do your research. And it's not like I just do a taste test, you know? I actually um, sent the product to test the product. There's usually homework that I have to do, reports that I have to do, the whole night. Similar to mystery shopping. Um, another great way to make money if you're a young person, right? It's acting. So I play roles. To get the information, to get the job done. Also to report back to the company how things are going. How is their campaign working out? Doing pop-ups, uh, stores, where brand ambassadors are hired. No, I'm not a brand ambassador like uh, Kim Kardashian was for many years, selling toilet paper. And they're stealing shit. <laughs> oh, wow. So when I see something like this, it, it's a good opportunity. It says, how can this be better? How can this be improved? And so clearly, one of the things that I'm now noticing with this I bet you it's due to the coloring that they use, Red 40. Hmm. So, and this is from Brooklyn. I do like the four C's, but maybe I can think of a better product. So a lot of ideas are created by people who see a need for something to be better. And trust and believe, a lot of times companies Oh, that got that got rid of it. They want your idea, but they don't want to compensate you. And a lot of times, <clears throat> everybody has a pitch about how something should be. So doing your research and having data to support that and showing. That's why I always read reviews about stuff. And I take these seriously about when someone says, this is not a good product, or this is a good product, X, Y, Z. Why? What makes it? not so good or not so great when people are honest so making sure that when these fortune 500 companies hire people to do the marketing uh that they are articulate that they have a good personality and that they are passionate about the product or the services otherwise why are you doing it and i know i've marketed stuff that i'm like really i don't know i feel like marketing this because it didn't have you know benefit or value. Or sometimes the company doesn't want to listen. Like I'll tell you uh, quickly about Philips, right? So I've represented Philips and they had this as many years ago. This was Home Depot of all places. They had this new lighting thing to where you could change the color of your lights inside your house, which is using an app and using these different kind of light bulbs. It's really cool, really fun. People were excited about it. So was I. However, the third party that was responsible for putting together, executing the event, did not do what they were supposed to do. They had me going to Home Depots. Now, mind you, this was like, wow, 2012. And I was getting like 20, 25, some places even 30, 35 an hour. So this is kind of work. So I take it seriously. And, you know, when people are hired, the brand ambassador, then someone has to go make sure that everything is supervised and it runs correctly. And so a lot of the brand ambassadors would be getting anywhere from like 15 to 25. So if you want to be a brand ambassador, there's a lot of money to be made. Pick the campaigns and the events and stuff that work for you, that you enjoy doing. So yeah, I've represented Coke, Pepsi, Nespresso, all kind of companies that... Nowadays, you couldn't pay me to represent them because I know what is in their products. It's not always the healthiest. Now, do I still from time to time have a Coke? Yes, I do. I do. I try to get the ones that are um, that have pure cane sugar in the, in the glass bottle. It tastes much better than the canned product. Kind of like, I don't know, a lot of beverages. They taste better based off 
the packaging that they're in. And you don't have to spend a lot of money trying to make your uh, package look so premium that people are not even paying attention and reading the ingredients, or is that done on purpose? So you see things that say private label and things that is it really, or is that just a uh, marketing strategy? A lot of times it's marketing. So good. And the thing about water, here's my little carbonated drink. It's healthy. There are many different ways you can dress water up to have a better taste, better quality. Filtered water, for sure. A lot of restaurants, they will give you some tap water in a minute, which is fine, but tell, that's not usually what people are expecting when they're uh, getting water at their table or, if, you know, just let's not even go there. So uniquely crafted crackers, different things you can do. Different cheeses, different meats, fun stuff. So if you got a long hot date at the library, you can have some accompaniments keep you busy. So my, you know, library at home, I got my chai tea. I have coffee, I have whatever I need to be successful. Also, easy things like some of these very good to have in the house there are gonna be days where you might not feel like cooking like i had some soup some um, soup that i actually brought <clears throat> from like the deli section a lot of times you can buy some stuff that are pre-made and hook them up speaking of which let me show you guys real quick that's why i kind of like making these videos these tutorials and also I use them as a business strategy. I use them to help show companies the um, type of things that they can do to improve their products by listening to the consumers, listening to the people who they are hiring to do the research for them and not to have biases. Um, you shouldn't have biases in research. Absolutely not. But we know that they exist. I learned about that at NIH. I'm actually going to throw out the produce that I need to use. And this is another way too, when I know I'm gonna have a busy, long night, I take a nap for a few hours. Turn on the movie, put on some music. And I have some apples and pears. Stick these here. And then I do my hair. Put this up here. So I have my little pastry for the morning. Already ready to go. I got some peanut butter cookies, homemade, and they are so good. So I like having things that are homemade and fresh. Shows my family. I love them, that I care about them, even when I'm on the road, even when I'm traveling. So I do these things, so before I travel, things are done, things are made. And then also, I teach young people all different things that they can do. So what you teach your children in the home does matter, it does. So, I have my little snack bag. And these are things just grab and go and take on the run, on the train, on the airplane, wherever I need to be. And also for my house. So doing little fun stuff like that is a cool way that you can um, show love for your family. And then by me traveling all the time, I decided, hmm, I'm going to check out my stock with some of these hotels, you know, um, and when I did the whole Airbnb thing and concierge services, I had a great time meeting people, telling them about the neighborhood, the area, how to work their Apple TV. <laughs> you can imagine people call you. Yeah, so I did manuals in the house for all the appliances. Make sure that you keep 
this is an insurance policy. Uh, your manuals for how to operate all your high end or your smart devices. Do not assume that people are just going to know. So this will be for later. For later. And then this coconut curry, chickpeas, garbanzo beans, and curry with turmeric and spices. When I'm getting hungry later on, I already have soup later. This is what I'll have with. Oh yeah, I got some spinach. I'll drop, got some frozen spinach. I'll drop this in there and I'll have my uh, biscuits with it. And that is a good meal. I try to eat light, especially if I'm going to be up late at night. It's cold, so you kind of want something that is a bit comforting. I'll show you guys. Oh, how I hooked up that soup that I brought. The thing I love about Costco, their brand, <clears throat> is really good. Kirkland. So this is the chunk chicken breast in water, extra lean, 13 grams of protein. I had opened up a can, a paste, a pouch of some chicken. Oh my God, it was nasty. It was so much water and just mushy paste. No, thank you. So when you find a brand that works for you, continue on that trajectory and so this here chicken breast meat water seasoning blah 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 but it's natural and i'll tell you how you can hook this up for soups and stews so i had got some chicken ganache soup and i knew it was not going to be seasoned it was not <clears throat> But it had all the healthy ingredients. So, this is how the soup wound up coming out because what I did, definitely I added some butter. I took the soup, it came in a container, I dumped it in a, fry, a saute pan, and I added some butter. I added a lot of garlic salt, a lot of onion powder, um, some seasoned salt, some black pepper and some Italian seasonings to cook it up and add to make sure the broth was a little bit more rich. Then I took a whole can of this. I drained it. I took some more butter. That's a biscuit. Kind of like a little pot pie. <laughs> a pot pie. Excuse me. Wow. Pot pies are really good too. Especially when they are homemade. And then with this, I added a bit of the same seasonings and of course some liquid smoke. I cooked it up really well in a pan. My two pans that I had earlier. And then, voila, dropped it in. So good. So remember I told you guys how you can make different uh, soups and stuff like that. You can also buy prepaid, uh, prepackaged soups for if you don't have a lot of time to make things from scratch and get higher quality products. That adaptable uh, chicken, that was supposed to have gone inside the soup. It was disgusting. So I took it back to the store, <laughs> got my money back. And then I realized in my pantry, I already have a lot of this. I tried it out, it worked wonderfully. Another trick too, you know, like those cans of soup, go for the ones that have lower sodium. Like even with ramen noodles, go for the ones that have lower sodium, less MSG. You can flavor them yourself. You can make your own ramen. You can make your own broth. In fact, that's really fun too for young people. You know, you don't have to live off noodles and noodles. You can actually make your own and make it. Check it from my pockets. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I know my robe has pockets. Got to have a robe. And, you know, you want to be comfortable. So there's nothing like when you're in the house, having your comfy robes feels amazing. Uh, being able to have your hot chocolate, your hot beverages, um, and also, you know, cookies and stuff like that are easy to warm up. So that's just fun ways that you can... 
save money, save time, and not skimp on quality or the experience. I create all these catered experiences at home because that's what I did in the workplace. And before I did in the workplace, I did them at home. So that's how you can maximize your expertise and things. Yeah. And I got to go book my airplane ticket to go back home. There are things I have to do. There are legal documents I have to go obtain. So, <clears throat> it is what it is. This is great. Water is also really good for mental clarity and for your ability to think. So if you have a test, you have an exam, you have some schoolwork you need to do, have water next to you and drink it. Have a great day. I have had a long day, but I'm so glad that I took a four hour nap. It was delightful. So while everybody else is probably winding down for the evening, I am getting ready to start part two of my day.